Jackie. It's going to be amazing. I am sorry, Jackillar. It's just, I, I'm not good at parties, and you know this, and I have a bad feeling about it, and I don't want a certain person to be there. I'm sorry. I just hope you can understand. It's not your dad or anything. Don't worry. It's just, I, I, I it's hard to explain, and you wouldn't really like me anymore if I told you. Jackson, wait. Come on. No, Dracula, I'm gonna be late for class. Bye. In time, Mr. Heck. Oh, hello, Dracula. Jackson won't come to my sweet 1600 party, no matter how many times I beg him to. And I've already made sure Manny and my father are not allowed there, so I don't understand what the big deal is. And every time I do say it, he either says he doesn't like parties, even though I've already said why parties are amazing, and his other excuse is he doesn't want a certain person to be there, but who could be that certain person, you know? This boy thing. Boys no good girls parties, believe me. Back in Mountain, we f we never had boy part at party. Boys do not understand our needs. Oh, well, Abby, um, your kind of parties back in the mountains were much different than they are here at Monster High. Yeah, good idea. Let's go to class now. We be like, wouldn't want tension again. Yes, right. I don't want to get tension again either. Oh, thanks to Apparela. Oh, jeez. But come on, Holt. I've already said that I'm overdue. Why won't you listen to me? Come on. It'll be fun at Dracula's party. Well, I could think about it. I mean, if there's going to be music constantly playing, then I'm definitely going to be there. You're the DJ, Holt. Of course there's going to be constant music. It's so weird. You get all iffy when there's no music at a party or something. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. It just sort of does. Well, I better be off to music class with Operetta. See you later! Frankie, I know I shouldn't be asking this because you don't hang around him not often enough. But have you seen Jackson? I haven't seen him anywhere. It's so annoying. Ever since he joined Monster High, he hasn't been to one music class. <sighs> no, I haven't seen him, but Holt's on his way right now. Oh, thank goodness. You know that man? He's just a good... He, at least he attends my music classes. Jeez! Seems like no one likes to hear classic rock and roll these days. <laughs> That's funny, because you make it sound like you're still interested in him. I mean, not to sound jealous or anything, but I, I know you two went out in the past before I was made, so... Yeah, but it's history now. We're about as old as the blue. Well, better hot off to music class. Bye, Frankie. Ah! Spectra, have you seen who, who told you about this thing with Deuce and Rochelle? Well, Cleo, sources say that Gulia was the one who told me about it. I can't, I couldn't believe my ears when she told me. So weird, though. Shouldn't she have told her best friend first? Well, I better head off now. I probably have some questions about my article this week. Bye! At Gulia, and to think I've called her my best cool friend since Middle Scream! <gasps> you halt right there, Gulia yelps. What is this? I've been hearing about you telling Spectra, the queen of all gossip, about Deuce cheating on me before your best girlfriend? Golia! Golia, I don't believe you! Say goodbye to our friendship, Golia Yelps. We are here by history. Tut. Oh gee, that's awful. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have been there to help out the situation, but you know the werewolves. Wait a minute! Claudine, slow down! It's a monster friend, not a real life, just bone! Please stop, you're gonna hurt Skelet! Gosh, I hate werewolves. They're such a pain in my pelvis bone. <laughs> we 
Cleo Glia. It is a little possible you that you and Cleo could be friends again. I mean, with a little guidance counseling, that is. You could try, of course. Hey, maybe it'll work. Maybe she'll realize that you really didn't tell Spectrum. <coughs> Gosh, that you've got a good point. Who on earth would be able to tell Spectra that kind of stuff? Well, who were you hanging out with? <coughs> hmm, Drakia Lara. And, hmm, she could have told Frankie, and then Frankie tell the, tell the ghostly gossip. But then Frankie's too sweet, she couldn't. And neither could Dracula. Laura. There must have been somebody watching you two. I don't know who, though. Maybe, like... I, I don't know. Maybe you and the other ghouls could find that out. I'm too bone thin to even dare to go find out who really told Spectra. There could be some scary werewolf. Speaking of werewolves, I've got to... I've got to fly off before they try and eat my arms. See you later, Gulia, and I hope things go well between you and Cleo. Wow, looks like this demonico was right. It is fun seeing such destruction at Monster High. <laughs>